I was quite confused before coming here because I was under the impression that uh, here I am, most of you will be from the economic background and I have no idea about uh, this economic background. But after coming here I came to know that uh, most of you are from the engineering side. Thank you, Kirk. I am quite relaxed, so I don't need, I don't think uh, I need to have a formal session. Let us be more, more interactive actually. Because I am also basically an engineer as uh, you have seen. And always uh, this engineer's blood got an attitude to talk in a different language while talking to engineers, right? Because unfortunately these engineers are the uh, most uh, unbranded community in the world, I should say. The other day, uh, a few days back, uh, last 20th, I was in uh, Delhi. For our new venture launch, uh, no, I was a uh, marketing launch actually. That is for our new venture. That is the first television channel for the medical industry, uh, which we developed uh, through the marine industry. We developed a concept. So the first commercialization actually happened not in the marine sector. That R&D project uh, got uh, now getting realized in the medical field, uh, and it is going to be launched on October 18th. It's airing. So it was well appreciated, uh, most of the people from the medical background came there. So only one question was there, what is the role of an engineer in that, uh, to launch it, a medical TV channel? So I had to give an answer, right? I said, there are more than, more engineers in the medical industry than the uh, medical uh, uh, professionals. And I proved it. You look at the construction of the medical colleges or hospitals, you look at the medical equipments, look at the ambulances, even the stethoscope who made. So everything, especially the modern equipments, everything is invented or it is made, uh, even the many medical manufacturing companies, you look at all the manufacturing units, there are group, group of engineers behind it. So naturally, the management side also, you people, especially the engineers, you, you have the role. You, have, you can do a lot of wonders over there and thank you very much uh, for inviting me to this session and it's a great honor actually. <laughs> Today, uh, the dollar versus Indian rupee rate today is 63.22. Yesterday it was over 20, uh, 64. Uh, maybe uh, next Monday when the exchange opens, it may touch 65 also, God knows. In the last uh, one week, almost 5% uh, fall, right? But I have a dream. That is, one dollar is equal to one rupee. You must be thinking I am crazy. You don't need to spend anything to dream, right? I am always like this. I dream a lot, but I never dream alone. Whenever I dream something, I have a group of friends, I should say my colleagues, very youngsters, average age of my company is 28. I never call it as a company because we always call Aries as a family actually, it's Aries family. Uh, we work in a different way, I'll talk about those things later. So whenever I dream something, I tell my colleagues about my dream. Then they start dreaming about that thing. Then it's a collective dream actually. So. Why this uh, rupee fall happens? What I believe is, we always uh, uh, blame the politicians. Politicians, the corruption in India is the root cause for all this nonsense. No? What is uh, corruption is everywhere. You uh, go around the world, everywhere in the US corruption is there. In UK corruption is there. Everywhere, every country. In China corruption is there. But China has grown uh, like anything in the last uh, two decades. Then what is wrong? This corruption, if uh, corruption money is there, uh, it is flowing. If you give a uh, scenario so that the corruption money can be circulated in your economy itself, what is wrong with that one? It is good. Actually, instead of putting it in the bank, it is going to some other places. If that money is circulating, because the black money, they never, people want to spend it uh, in somehow in the market, right? So it is good for the economy, actually, provided it is not going to this bank. So that, uh, that is not the problem actually. What I believe is, we don't have dreams, collective dreams, that is the problem. 
we always dream right? we individually we dream we have individual dreams but it will not help our uh, country to grow because the dollar uh, indian rupee or dollar it belongs to a country it is a symbol of a country to keep it stable your dreams you should convert to reality on a collective platform that is what the problem uh, we face always so let us see few realities what is happening in india how many uh, indian products are internationally branded as the best look at uh, so how many famous brands they are all well branded but those are not the best in the world you go to any uh, supermarkets in the international supermarket i uh, go to uh, go abroad or you go to uh, your uh, supermarket also why what stops you uh, from taking an indian product it is happening everywhere uh, in the luxury side all the luxury, uh, luxury products nowadays all the branded the best as the, uh, the branded as the best if you take very few it's almost we can say almost nil internationally branded as the best from india we are talking about a country with the second largest population but unfortunately we don't have the best internationally branded products so this is something uh, actually troubling for a long time so when we started aries i still believe i am i am an employee or something from aries i i always say that i am the 16th year student in the university of aries every day i am learning something from here this visit also will give me something i will learn something from you but learning is very everyone can learn but question is is it is there any use with that learning as long as we are not putting it into application that knowledge is the base many people read n number of books you can see people uh, from morning to evening they read books book keep on reading as long as you are not taking uh, the information what you are getting out of that you are not uh, instead of just talking if you are, as long as you are not making it into practical thing what is the use of that one you are just wasting time you are wasting your potential if you are talking to someone else you are wasting their time also then the discussion going on debate is going on end of the day it's a uh, two hours three hours in the in the university side also we, the same thing happened in the hostel days we used to talk a lot about many international things nothing end of the day we all go back to the hostel and sleep nothing happens but once you are in the industry the time every second what you was, uh, spent you should try to convert into reality so when we started aries our vision was very clear we should go we should have a couple of brands internationally are the best right now i can probably say that we have three brands internationally branded as the best in uh, the world one is the our uh, first venture that is um, in uh, during um, uh, 92 1992 there's a new rule came all the ship hull uh, hull should be inspected using ultrasonic thickness gauge is a technology new newly introduced uh, system so when i was uh, uh, absorbed by one of the middle east companies for that uh, purpose so my first uh, purpose um, of us job was to start that division uh, get it approved a lot of uh, procedure because there was nobody else in front of me to guide me this is the way to go there so i had to learn it i had to get approval so most of the companies in the middle east those days from first company i worked in three companies all the three companies my main job was to start this particular division actually one day i decided now it's uh, the time to start my own so it is very easy for me because i know how to start a division in the three companies so it's very easy for me to start the same thing but i know that starting a division is very easy but starting it in a different way when we start something you have to make sure it becomes because so many companies across the world that by that time uh, started they became uh, number 1 number 2 like that but starting something with there is it should stand as the world's number 1 so 5 years back we achieved that feat and as of today the number 1 the gap between number 1 and number 2 if you look at it the number 2 is only 40% of our uh, market share they are holding 
that is not because of our marketing skill actually lot of effort lot of other commitment lot of factors behind that one to reach that level that we will talk later the other slides are coming up second thing is uh, second brand mainly is the Narendra Modi TV body you have seen that is the only television channel we started as it as a as an R&D pro, uh, program as of today it is not commercialized still it works as the only platform in the maritime sector and because worst uh, two third of the world is covered by the sea 90% of the world trade happens to, through the sea but still only one television channel and the entire team behind that concept is a group of indians Now the third brand that is also very brand is a very young concept actually. There is no competition for that one. That is our Yamri concept, but we have shown. I haven't seen uh, any people from US or UK coming here to join this IM. But if you go to US uh, management schools, you can see many Indian going there. But believe me, a uh, few weeks back I was in the US. One of the leading. No, not not one of the the representative of the maritime uh, i should say the headquarters of maritime industry that is the the, class, the official class student society after seeing the concept the education system what we have introduced the system is very simple you give the uh, script of movie titanic as a study material how many hours the student should uh, spend on that one and the best student in the classroom may be 10% of the students will score 80% uh, many people will not even score 60% but you show the movie titanic 3 hours in the theater the worst student in the class may score better than the best student in the class that is the power of the visual media so this i took because my passion was in the movie industry but my destiny took me to the field of naval architecture but the day uh, one of my design entered the guinness book of world records i decided now it is time for me to go after my passion so that day i started deviating from uh, my design side so that day onwards i started learning about the visual media that took me to the film uh, the uh, film industry but still i know that i am the basic thing is i am from the maritime industry i am basically an engineer but something what i learned from the visual media i should uh, put it in practice in the engineering side so what i have adapted is the power of visual media to how to capture the minds of the people using the visual media so i took it into the learning side in the every what we have decided is all our education system the classroom is like this actually the classroom capacity what we need for a normal classroom is 450 square feet to 550 square feet on a normal uh, height 12 feet uh, 10.5 to 12.5 feet high uh, room you can make a beautiful 7.1 audio surround system the best classroom right now we got one classroom in kochi and one classroom in uh, in uh, sharja I, i i would say that is the best classrooms in the world right now and after seeing this concept now by the next couple of years maybe hundreds of such classrooms may be started worldwide and you don't need any number of teachers only one teacher can manage so many classrooms at a time that is an interactive platform actually and if you get the best teacher of the uh, the world you just one or let him come and uh, take a class catch read then everything is through projection actually the uh, projection is sometimes better than uh, uh, the real person you know because in the back row persons maybe you want uh, see my lip movement properly uh, projection system if you are using two uh, cameras and one camera if you are focusing on the face of the presenter the close up it will give a additional impact and if you are giving it in a 7.1 audio, audio, audio surround system it is the information is punching into your brain so this uh, concept we introduce luckily we have the green this tv concept to support us so we got almost 7000 hours of uh, technical content with this so we use those content and uh, according to the syllabus we uh, we understood the real pulse of the industry actually because when you pass out from an institute you think you know everything but when you enter the industry the 80% what the industry requires is not taught in the institute and 80% uh, uh, what what you have learned is not required for the industries so there is a big gap 
So we decided, we went to the industry first, we identified their requirement, we made the syllabus accordingly. This is what you required and uh, this many people required. So we designed the batches accordingly. There is no fees, we don't take fees from the students directly. We know that these persons can be uh, placed by us 100%. So they, the students, they need to pay the fees only from their salary. So this is the system we introduced. So for each vacancy, the pupils, the best students, I normally we take the uh, students passing out from the engineering college actually. The first batch itself, for one seat, 10 persons came. So we started getting the right uh, products from the industry, then this visual media based education system, they transformed. And from the industry, we have a list of, uh, uh, we, we call it a blunder list actually. The blunders made by your seniors, by me, because in uh, my uh, first couple of years in the industry, I made n number of blunders. I listed out my, the, my blunders, my colleagues listed out their blunders, then we contacted all the industry people. They all listed the blunders they made, their colleagues made, their friends made, all these things. We got hundreds and hundreds of list of blunders. So now, in this six, uh, six, uh, six month training period actually, in the six months, we train them all these. These are the things you should not do in the industry when you go. Because the first two years, the damage what you create, actually it's a learning ground for you, but who is going to suffer? Your employer. So we are trying to, this education system is trying to reduce the damages created by the youngsters in the industry. This is going to happen with you also, actually I'm not uh, discouraging you, but this is what happens. Uh, when you go to the industry, this gap is there actually. We don't know, because uh, now we are all sitting in the same classroom, but you know, once you go into the industry, the people sitting uh, next to next will be working in a totally different uh, uh, world. You don't know in which field you are going to end up. So, this concept when we introduced and we went to US, and also in uh, the other class building societies also now approaching us. They all decided their next, the future, their junior surveys, they are all going to be trained under this scheme. They are, they have given us that responsibility. The other, uh, uh, last month I gave the same proposal to the Middle East largest uh, maritime training institute, the English International Maritime Academy. They liked it very much. Now they have given the entire institute for five years, 100 million dirham projects, a huge project actually. They have given the entire project to me to uh, make it run and uh, bring it back to that system. So this is a new concept we have developed. So we, we are proudly say that it is possible if you have, because it was a dream, once, uh, once it was just a dream. When I told to my friends, my colleagues about my dream, they started dreaming and uh, it became a collective uh, dream and it became a reality. Now it's a reality now. So. This is what I am saying, we need international brands and I am 100% sure that, that uh, the concept what we have developed, if, even if somebody else follow, they are way behind uh, us, they are the pioneers actually. So we need, instead of uh, fighting with our competitors in the market, why can't we move ahead further? And keep a huge gap between the number 2 and number 1 and stamp yourself as the best product in the world and in all these products they got the potential but something somewhere we lack we put a full stop or we put a bracket or comma we decide we need this much only then we go to the other slide what stops you from becoming the world number one that is quality that is the biggest problem with all our Indian manufacturers or Indian uh, entrepreneurs or everybody, any, any sector in the education sector or in the industry, industry sector or in the research sector, wherever you go, we always compromise on quality. I did the same mistake because in the uh, areas also in the first uh, few years, we tried to compromise on because the Indian blood uh, always uh, made us to uh, compromise on quality in uh, uh, many places. But one day we realized that will not take us to the number one position. That day we changed the track. So this is the biggest problem. We all least bothered about the quality. So your mindset actually you have to totally change. 
it is just like uh, putting up a, a railway track. The for uh, putting up the railway track, you need to put a uh, lot of effort initially. In ISO system, also the same thing. Initially, you need to keep the uh, make the track, the quality track. You need to put manpower, time, uh, money, lot of effort you have to put. But once it is there, that track is set. You can assure your quality. You can control your quality. But as long as you are not sticking on to the quality, by reducing the uh, price of your uh, product, maybe you can uh, achieve your target. But how long? So never ever try to compromise on your quality. This is the biggest lesson because this is my uh, the biggest lesson actually I learned from Aries is that one. The first few years my life was miserable actually. Everyone's life was miserable because we always compromise in quality. Our most of our valuable time actually we wasted for uh, solving the issues, the quality related issues at the end of the day. And the client is not going to pay for your quality issues. So. When you work out, maybe our rates were very less those days actually in the market. But once we started the start changing the track, we st started sticking onto the quality. Just like what I told you in the end, the new quality system what we introduced. The classrooms what we have set up, even if we charge three times more than the other people, people will not uh, go to the other uh, person. They will come to us only. But. This is the same thing in the industry when we change the track and uh, change our quality system. Our tariff now went up by I think three to four times actually we increased our rate after that. So still it is uh, every year our policy is very simple. Increase the quality, increase the price rate because uh, uh, you will not get quality for a lesser rate. So you. And clients, they don't mind. You have n number of clients in the world who really look for the quality products, and they have budget to spend for that one, and they don't mind. That's why top high end companies is very difficult to get into it unless you have the quality system. And believe me, the if Aries has reached somewhere right now, it is just because of that change of track, and this is the. Biggest message I want to give in your future, wherever you join, just stick on with the quality and don't care about the cost involved, time involved. You have to uh, spend for that one, the track you have to set. But after that, you can clearly say that my this is the quality of my product, this is what I deliver. Otherwise, end of the day, the, the product will come back, rework, rework, rework. All these things will cost you money, time, reputation. See, most of the uh, most of our jobs are not coming through our marketing division actually. The quality of the product gives uh, that most publicity. The client, uh, uh, we never lose a client. That is first thing. And the, the client tells to n number of their colleagues, uh, their uh, field members. So they are all coming back. So actually, our marketing team is uh, doing lesser job than the uh, job done by the quality of the product. So our, we say that uh, our uh, production staff do more marketing than our marketing staff. Next is, why do you want to follow? This is the biggest problem we always follow. Whenever there is a successful business or something, you are all following the same thing. So how long you can uh, succeed in as a follower? Because already there is a leader. And you are uh, trying to uh, get something uh, what he doesn't take. And you can never be the, you, 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 don't, you will never be the number one in that field as long as you are the follower. So what is the best way of to get out of this psychic problem? Be a creator to take the lead as pioneer. Always in the field, you, you have to think what creative thing you can uh, input. That creativity will give you an edge. It will take you one step forward. Once you are forward, others have no other choice, they have to follow. You know, all of our uh, aspects actually, we have introduced, because we started many conventional things. But whatever conventional things we have started, we have introduced some, we have input some creative thing. But the uh, many products, many of our concepts products, they are totally innovative. There we don't face any competition at all. 
they are least bothered about the competition. We always moving ahead with the uh, different purpose, different, uh, and we don't worry about the competition at all, especially in the marine uh, marine industry. If a competitor starts, he is almost uh, at least four or five years behind us. If someone else, uh, a medical field, someone who starts to wants to start a, a TV channel in a different perspective in a, as an integration project, it will take minimum three years for us to uh, chase it. So that gap we already created. So this is the thing you have to uh, uh, you have to do it in your profession also. Let me come back to my uh, the, my passion that is the film industry. This is the pro this is the biggest problem. Uh, in India also. India is supposed to be the world's largest film making country actually. We may, if we produce more movies than everyone altogether actually. 55% of the world movie goes, the theatre goes, they are from India. But still, why is Hollywood is dominating us? There is a reason, eh? there is a this dollar rupee rate difference is there, that is for sure. But now the multiplexes are coming up, the culture is changing. But still, our film industry, we got so many talented film uh, industry people, but still, we always try to be a follower. Everyone thinks that, okay, it's the first job is to, for the Hollywood to make, come up with some concept, let us follow. We never try to uh, spend even a single minute for some kind of uh, additional uh, step to put forward. That's the biggest problem. The only person in the Indian film industry who thought uh, beyond that, that is Satyajit Ray actually. In 1963, he had a vision actually. His vision was to make a movie in India. He know that uh, there is a huge uh, production gap between India and uh, uh, Hollywood. But he knew that the concept, if it uh, work out, there is a possibility to bring a Hollywood into the Indian film industry. With that one, his aim was to start a project in association with Columbia Pictures to make a movie um, uh, in India. So he made a script. It was called, the movie name was uh, Alien actually. But actually it was supposed to happen somewhere near me. The story was like that. An alien uh, comes to Assam or something. Well, in Bengal, I think. He worked 12 years for that project. But the same concept, Spielberg took it. He made E.T. The storyboard of E.T. That shape actually it was drawn by Satyajit Ray. The same concept. Nobody knows it actually. But in his uh, biography, it is um, uh, that uh, uh, episode is there actually. But after that, how many decades passed? So many hundreds and hundreds of filmmakers in India, talented filmmakers, they never uh, tried to think in that perspective of Satyajit Ray. But when we started Damn Triple Nine. We decided there are a number of uh, people here in the film industry to make movies. Why should we uh, spend our valuable time? Because uh, my valuable time as a director, it will not match with uh, uh, other directors because I will be the most expensive director in India in that aspect. But a group of engineers, there are also a group of engineers was, uh, behind that project actually. So when we designed the project, we decided that there should be a difference in that project. It should be, we should be the pioneer, it should be a milestone for, and it should be a path breaker uh, for the Indian film industry. So we made a project with 99 products uh, in that total project. Movie was only one project. As per uh, that project, our first aim was to make a movie and get it distributed by Warner Brothers uh, uh, to make it a Hollywood venture actually. And either the movie should be made by a major studio or distributed by a major studio. So we made sure it is to be distributed by one of the major studios. So end of the day, one of the others came. Our next day in the 99, the list of 99 was the movie should go to Oscar. From every year from India, one movie is going to Oscar. That is the reservation category that is called uh, foreign language category. We have no, our talented actors, uh, singers, they have, they never will get a chance or uh, uh, to perform in the, in the compete in the Oscars because in the foreign language category only one award. So, what is the path? Nobody knows in India how to go there. We started. It was a research work actually. How to reach there? Adjust. We identified the route. 
If there is a will, I always believe that if there is a will, there is a way. So there was a way we identified the route. Through that route, okay, dam uh, reached there. Okay, see, to uh, either get uh, to win an Oscar, first of all, you have to reach there at the doorstep. Unless and until uh, uh, you don't reach that step, uh, what is the use? So, the, uh, after Dam Triple Nine, we could take another three movies. This year, we are uh, uh, trying to take under ten actually. So, still, Indian filmmakers. Uh, they are uh, thinking, even if we are the number one, we have the potential to become, to brand Indian film industry as the number one in the world. But nobody dreams on a collective aspect. Everyone thinks uh, individually, like I said, they make movies, finish. On the day of uh, release or after one week, the story finished there. There is no more, uh, nothing happens. There is no future for that movie after that. Maximum maybe a satellite right, that is already sold before the release. But that is not the thing what we have listed out in the 99 top points. We decided the movie should go to the world. It should circulate at least for 5 years. Through market screening. There are, because it is branded, uh, it, is, it is made in different 9 angles. So in the movie, in the theatre only the um, uh, person is watching it only in one angle. So there are different, another 8 angles for the movie. So one of the angles was the maritime branding angle. Now, you won't believe every month we have one or two uh, uh, market screening or one of the festival screening happening across the world. I am not in a position to go to all the festivals or market screening. But every market screening, that is the, now Aries Group's number one marketing tool or branding tool is that movie actually. So whenever we identify the, the next, uh, after one week we are going to Azerbaijan, there is a market screening in Baku. Baku is a huge marketplace. I have never gone to gone for marketing uh, in uh, Baku still. We have an office over there, but uh, I haven't personally gone to Baku for a major marketing trip. But my visit, my, I'm going there only for one day actually. In that one day, I'm going to meet maybe 200 or 300 uh, clients will be coming there. It's almost like our branding division, our marketing division will be working for almost uh, two weeks to three weeks actually to invite all these people. They are all coming there. The purpose is uh, it's a maritime. They are all watching in the movie in the maritime angle because the, all the characters are mariners. We are showing the largest floating object uh, ever shown in any movie. We are showing a um, marine city concept. That is the marine city. Uh, all the mariners are staying together. They work together. They, the education institutes are there. So that sample marine city we are uh, showing in the movie. So, all the mariners, they are looking in that aspect. The movie is designed accordingly, the script is designed accordingly. So, out of these 200 or 300 clients, I, have, I haven't even seen, uh, out of 99% of the clients, I haven't ever seen. So, all these people will be after the movie. This is what happens actually. We get so many new clients. We get so many orders, sometimes 2 to 3 million uh, uh, dollar worth of order uh, as a gift they are giving after seeing the movie, after the effort what the group of mariners have put in the movie, they give it as a gift. So, this kind of potential, uh, what I wanted to say is that when you design a project, okay, if, if, if one of you sitting in front of me, if, if you are joining a film industry tomorrow and you, your job is to do the branding or marketing, you have to look at the product. The life of the product doesn't uh, finish uh, with the first day of screening or the first week of screening. It can, for as per our calculation, it will take minimum five years for us to cover the entire world market screenings. I'm really because last month I, I had uh, um, a screening in Houston. Now after Baku we are going to Italy, then going to Malaysia. So every world is uh, market screening. Even if the movie has come in the theater or DVD release, doesn't mind. Market screening is different. Only thing is, at the time of uh, making the movie itself, you have to plan all these things. And uh, what kind of branding we can do this movie? So that the story should be made accordingly. So, so many potentials. Uh, unfortunately, we don't think in that way. So, we don't become the pioneer. And that doesn't make us the leader. So, this is a problem, one of the problems with all the Indian products, Indian concepts, Indian entrepreneurs and uh, even the leaders, okay, uh, as the future leaders in the industry, this is, you have to keep it in mind. In whichever industry you go, you have to add some flavor, add some ingredient to take one step ahead of an international product. You have to compete with the international market.
where should you sell your product? Go globally. This is the same principle we followed in Aries also. Right now, we have 1000, more than 1200 clients under Aries and 1300 clients for the marine distillery actually. As an R&D project, we got so many uh, supports. Because in the R&D project, we don't even sell uh, slots, advertisement slot commercially actually. For each concept in that one, we just sample analysis only we are doing. For a sample analysis, we are going to a different uh, client, we are getting the response. When the commercialization happens, uh, we are uh, con converting it into money. But, so, 99% of our business, we always will uh, do internationally. Otherwise, what my concern is, doing the, uh, when we have the international platform to uh, perform, if you are doing a national job, because there are a number of players in India to do that one, otherwise it is just like taking money from this pocket and putting it in this pocket. So when your international platform is there, to make the, our primary objective is to make one dollar a single one rupee. We have an economic bucket with full of train holes. So it takes a lot of effort to close each train hole. Then if you are not in a position to fill those train holes, what is the only option for you to fill the bucket? Add extra thing, extra what? Extra money, extra economy. Only option is go internationally, get a business out of there, get the clients from there, fill the bucket, fill your economic bucket. Even if train holes are there, we cannot stop the, these train holes in the Indian um, scenario. Let the train holes be there. When you are losing uh, five hundred dollars, you will try to add uh, five fifty dollars. Fifty dollars uh, coming up. One day the bucket will be full. When is the bucket? When the bucket will be full? That day the Indian dollar will be equal to Indian rupee. So only option is when you do the business, if you have an opportunity, go globally. There is a big world. India is such a small in the whole world. You can sell your product in almost 200 countries. Even in the offshore, you can sell it. Even space is there. You can sell many products for the space technology. And who is the best brand ambassador for your service? You will be the brand ambassador. This is what always uh, is an escapism actually. Most of the companies actually, they get okay, uh, the branding they are giving to somebody else. They get, uh, I am not saying that it is wrong thing, but what we follow is something else. I look at in a different angle. Maybe I am right, maybe I am wrong. But if you are not the brand ambassador, if you are hiring a brand ambassador, the brand ambassadors, value may, tomorrow we don't know. Maybe today you hire Shahrukh Khan as your brand ambassador. Uh, who knows tomorrow whether he is a superstar or not. A new superstar will come. Yeah, again you have to uh, uh, pay for the new superstar to get that new brand ambassador. But as long as, if you are the brand ambassador, as long as your company or your product exists, you are investing in you. You are the, but only thing is, you have to assure you that the quality of the product is perfect, otherwise it is going to affect your reputation. So, as long as you are confident with your product, there is no other brand ambassador required. You just go for, go for, you are the brand ambassador. Actually, this is what in, uh, uh, in Aries group, what we are now doing. We are branding, actually, uh, I am the brand, uh, right now the brand ambassador for Aries group. But it is working out very perfectly. Now, many deals, in today's, today morning also I had a deal. Thing is, in my mail, last thing is, actually the, for the legal contract, it may take many days to frame the legal contract. But the last word of my mail is basically, I am the guarantee. So that is the reputation what we have created. If the company CEO has created such a brand name and a, a, a guarantee, just a one word, I am the guarantee means there is no other contract Bigger than that one. You don't need any court cases, any litigations, any arbitration, nothing. Only thing is, you should be confident about your service, your product, uh, whatever it is, where you are representing. So this is what you can think about in future in a different way. Next is, when will you start respecting your time? This is the biggest, biggest train hole actually in India. This is what we follow. Time is money. We, uh, uh, we count even seconds and we should count even seconds. In Indian, Indian, just like Indian standard time, any function, uh, in, in, normally in India, 30 minutes, after 30 minutes only people will come actually. Today I was quite surprised, uh, few people came here in the The other day in Delhi also the same thing happened. We don't respect time. Because I was, I was taught by Germans actually. I studied in Cochin University. 
Cochin University was the first institute in India actually. Uh, because that time in uh, ship technology was e shipbuilding technology was not uh, introduced in India. Nobody was there to taught Indian students shipbuilding technology. So from Germany, a group of uh, naval architects actually shipbuilding experts they came to India. So my all my professors were from Germany actually. But actually from there, uh, from them, what I learned is I was not the best student in the class actually. But one thing I learned from them. That is the punctuality. For the nine o'clock, nine a.m. means eight, eight and 50, uh, eight hour, fifty nine minutes and sixty seconds. This is what they follow. There is no difference between all the teachers. They were following the same thing. That is the punctuality. That is they count even seconds. This is the main thing what I learned from my professors. I still follow it. I think I am the most punctual person. That's why I uh, I can never call myself as an entrepreneur or something. I am I still believe I am the best employee in my group actually, in this group. Because I am the most punctual person. Just because of my punctuality, everyone is now forced to uh, come to the office exactly. Because in a railway station, if you are late by 10 seconds, will you get that uh, train? You will miss it. So same thing. So what is the in the office? Morning 8 o'clock means don't think that you can come by 1 minute late after 8. Because that is the first thing you are showing, your punctuality. As long as you are not punctual in your office, uh, you are not punctual to yourself, how you are going to deliver your product on time? 